Red light camera reported ahead. What's going on guys? So if you're not aware, recently Apple announced that their next version of iOS will officially support third-party navigation apps such as Waze and Google Maps. So I went ahead and updated to the iOS 12.0 beta to see if these apps would be functional. As of now, unfortunately, currently they're not. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can still use some of the features of Waze in combination with Apple CarPlay. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, this is only going to give you the audio features of Waze, not the visual display that's going to show up on your navigation screen, so keep that in mind. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go into the Waze settings menu, and that's located at the top, so you can select that there. And then we're going to go ahead and select sound and voice. Now, for the sound output, I have mine set to device default. You can have it play on the phone speaker or play as a Bluetooth phone call. Leaving it as device default is what I do and this is how I have it set up. Now the next thing that you want to select is the sound. So you can either have Waze set to off so no sound comes out and that's typically best if you have access to see the Waze screen which in this case using Apple CarPlay we won't. So you can either set it to alerts or on. The difference being if it's set to alerts, then you can have navigation running on ways, but it's not going to alert you to turn right or turn left. If you have only alerts on, then you're going to get notifications if something's in the road, if there's a cop up ahead, uh, traffic accident, anything that you would normally get as an alert through ways, you're still going to get that over your sound system while using Apple CarPlay. So once we have that set up, you can either choose between alerts or on. It doesn't matter. It's your preference. I have it on just for the sake of this video, but usually I just leave it on alerts. So now we're ready to go ahead and connect the phone to the car and get Apple CarPlay going. And we'll start Maps. So one thing that you'll notice is that when you have Apple Maps open on your navigation screen, it's also open on your phone. So if I were to swipe out of it, you can see that the maps goes away. But I do have Waze running on my phone here. So for the sake of demonstration, I entered the same location on Waze and Apple Maps. So essentially, I'm looking at the Apple Maps screen, but I'm getting directions from Waze over the sound system via Bluetooth audio. So now, let's take a look at how this works in practice. So right now I have Apple Maps routed to a destination and I have Waze routed to the exact same destination. Um, I have the voice audio turned off on Apple Maps and the sound turned on Waze so that the voice that you'll hear for navigation is actually the Waze voice. And while it doesn't display any of the uh, alerts or anything, you do get verbal notification. So if there's a police or any accidents or anything on the road, any hazards that Waze picks up, you will get the audio alert. Red light camera reported ahead. So now we're going to go off route just so you guys can hear the voice alert. And it should speak to us rerouting. Turn left on Garfield Avenue, then turn left on Dana Lane. So, as I said, that voice that you hear there is actually Waze and not uh, Apple CarPlay, although Apple CarPlay is showing the same rerouting instructions. Turn left on McKinley Avenue, then turn left on Dana Lane. But that's pretty much it for me guys. I'll be sure to keep a watch on the iOS 12 beta to see if they do any releases that allow for the functionality of third-party navigation apps such as Waze. And I'll definitely do another video when the official iOS 12 release comes out in the fall. But thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for your support and see you next time.